All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my all new attempt, at least, at a probably bi weekly, maybe tri weekly comedy show here from my room in front of my green screen exclusively on YouTube. <laughs> Man, those of you who have followed me for years, you have seen me do all kinds of stuff on video, haven't you? Haven't you? Um, I think a lot of people think that I take myself a lot more seriously than I actually do, which is why I have decided to uh, go ahead and present bits and pieces of my commentary, thoughts and opinions in stand-up comedy form because that way uh hopefully nobody will try to kill me i already have enough stalkers and people trying to put out hits on my life as it is <laughs> considering that i decided to become an independent investigative blogger in the adult entertainment industry hate to say it, but the porn industry's number one blogger, even though I have um, forfeited, completely forfeited the title to a lesser blogger, yes. But we all know I'm number one. We all know. Just as it took years and years and years for Harriet Tubman to be acknowledged on the $20 bill, I do not expect to be acknowledged when it comes to my independent investigative journalism within the adult entertainment industry until well beyond my time. I am talking in the time of Vulcan's light <laughs> speed, warp speed, stuff like that. Because y'all know how it is. It's hard to be a black woman. Never getting credit for anything. Everyone's stealing your ideas from you. A lot of people don't know it, but... Uh, the Matrix trilogy, that was written by a black woman. The uh, individuals who are beneficiaries of the uh, everlasting white privilege scholarship, of course, have paid this particular woman off, but... Yeah, I saw one of your videos that you the said Matrix that... Matrix was um, written by a black woman. Um, Neil's supposed to be black. Well, Neo is a black character. All of the characters were black characters because if this people don't believe that, they can go and pull up a Los Angeles Sentinel. They were talking about me in 1981, June of 81. Was Neo's name always Neo? Or was it something like, uh, I don't know, Darnell? <laughs> Trayvon? Oops. Too soon. <laughs> All right, so what do I want to talk about today? What do I want to talk about today? Um, well, those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know what I like to talk about the most and what <laughs> gets me into trouble, really. Race. Race. I like to talk about race. And I like to talk about race a lot because... Um, Really, when it comes down to it, the only race, the only true race on Earth when it comes to intelligent life, at least that's acknowledged, is the human race. But Trump's president, so, you know. I mean, I never really thought in my life that uh, racial tensions would get as heightened as they have, I mean, it's made my dating life very difficult, you know? <laughs> very difficult. I've made some podcasts about it. Alexandra Mayer's Just Some Thoughts. Y'all might want to check that out. But uh, yeah, this Trumpening, I mean, if you're a uh, male who's a Trump supporter, <laughs> the way I see it, he might owe quite a few of his supporters a uh, mail order bride or two after this fiasco because these guys who are Trump supporters, they haven't been able to get a date at all. Not at all. Because think about it. 
the only uh, single women really out there for these Trump supporters to date would be, well, unfortunately for them, me, all the women who are not single, they, they, they already have been snagged up by a Trump supporter. They grabbed a Trump supporter, you know, because there just weren't many of them. <laughs> so, you, you know, the only single women are uh, us who are, who are still just sitting there waiting for a woman president. So that's, that's, that's just not going to work out. Um, I think some Trump supporter males have given up and they've decided to do a full 180. Yeah, because strangely, it seems that I am attracting a lot of these ex-Trumpers who have done a 180 because all these ex-Trumpers who have done a 180, they've, they've become trans. And I'm not talking transgender, no, that's, that's for a whole nother uh, comedy set another day. I'm not attracting transgender, no. Um, I'm attracting the transracial male. Yes, the transracial male. A lot of people don't know about this transracial phenomenon. It's not something that everybody can do. Not everybody. <laughs> can't uh, go transracial. I can't, for example. I mean, the, the, the one person who would love to go transracial, because it is hard to be a black woman, um, I can't do it. There's nothing I can do. Nothing. Nothing. I, I mean, it's, there's no point for me to go transgender even. If I were to go, like, why would I go transgender? I don't want to go to jail. So, you know, but I, I, I can't even go transracial. I can't have any fun. I'm stuck. But I am attracting transracial guys like you would not believe. I just met one, and it was the strangest thing. Um, I'm going to explain to you what happened. I, I actually should make a comedy series just about my mishaps dating because nothing's going right. I'm definitely dying alone. But, uh, yeah, so jump on the dating app, start talking to a dude. Nice guy, nice guy. Um, single, check. No children, check. Hadn't been in a, re in a relationship in a long time. That's a good thing, right? Um, has a job, yes, check. Um, has a car, all right, he had a car. Uh, he had everything, everything. and. For race, it said mixed. So it's like, ooh, mixed, what's mixed? I don't know. And in his photos, which um, were very misleading, by the way, he, he appeared he could have been something, right? So I talked to him on the phone, sound like a black man. I'm like, oh, must be mis mixed with black. So I asked him on the phone, I'm like, so it says you're mixed. He's like, yeah, 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 but I only really date black women, so I'm thinking, okay, he's definitely, definitely mixed with black, right? So, um, I do have a policy before I meet anybody off the dating app. I need to at least video chat with them, Skype, right? Just to make sure they are who they say they are. So he's like, okay, I'd love to Skype with you, but um, it's going to be for my car. I'm coming back from work, and I'm thinking, hey, he's got a job. <laughs> I don't care where you video chat with me from. Just connect. So he does. And he's in the shadows. Can't really see him, but I'm like, uh, I'm sure he is who he says he is, right? So I meet him. And I'm open to dating all ethnic backgrounds, all races. I do not discriminate. I get discriminated against quite a bit, but I don't discriminate. But I'm thinking to myself, hmm, there does not appear to be anything black or African American about this man. Even though he is wearing what would stereotypically today be deemed as African American influenced attire. All right. So we sit down, I order some tea, he orders a Hennessy. 
<laughs> and um, we get to talking. So I ask him, I'm like, hey, you know, uh, you said on your profile that you're mixed. What exactly are you mixed with? Because uh, I understand that people who are multiracial can be all the colors of the rainbow, but there's just nothing about you that appears mixed to me. And he said, my father is from Haiti. I was like, oh, your father is of African descent. He said, no. <laughs> my mother is English, but from Canada, and my father is English from Haiti. And I said to him, so you are English? And he's like, you know, people with an open mind understand that I'm mixed. <laughs> so at that point, I just kind of got up. As I'm getting up, I hear. Ding 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 being in my world, but I'll tell you this, regardless of where he was in his mind, if in that bar, a gang of a confederate flag waving, sheet wearing guys walked in, he suddenly would be checking that white box rather than the multiracial mix box on his form for whatever it is that he's applying for. So yeah.